Alrighty, so here we are today. We're going to show you how to put the graphics card in this computer. I got asked on YouTube about it. I think it was yesterday. So we're going to show you how to do this camera. I can't remember what his name was, but he'll be watching eventually. So first off, pretty obvious, open the case. Disconnect that too. I never do that because I'm a dickhead, but I never end up blowing up my computer anyway. So... Yes, um, I have done a lot of modifications to this computer, so if you do see what's on the inside, do not be alarmed and think, well, it doesn't look any bloody different, but there's a lot of a difference in there. Um, all right, so as you can see, the graphics card is located up the very top. So to take that off, we want to undo this antenna. That's your Wi-Fi antenna. Sit him down. And there's two screws here if you have a Wi-Fi card. If not, you just undo the card. Um, I would say your computer was the same as mine when you first got it, buddy. Now, after you get this card off, up the very top, there is another slot that is covered by a metal plate. Um, I'll show you what you have to do there once I get the card out. Just put that in there. Fuck. Shit. Fuck shit. Um, so, there's my Wi-Fi card. You should have the same one, hopefully. Now the graphics card, take out the DVI. Um, this graphics card does support VGA, but because I have the Wi-Fi card, as you can see, the VGA would go there on the side of the card, would come down there and be ported out there, but because I have the Wi-Fi card, I don't do that. I just use DVI instead. So first of all, we just bring the card out to show you how to get it back in. Ow. Goddamn complicated. All right, could do it a bit of a clean too. Alright, so that's my graphics card. As you can see, it's an ASUS. It's an ASUS ATI Radeon 6570. Very low profile card, as you can see. Um, I'll even grab a ruler out. It is... Shit, shouldn't have done that. About... From the card itself, it is about... 168 mil and down down wise down here it's about 55 mil so it's a very small card um so yeah that's the card now if you want to get the camera up in there one second i'll just put a light in there as you can see up the very top there is a black slot that's your pci um, all you want to do is take the card up as far as there as you can go. Um, so they can be a bit difficult, but they're not as difficult as you would think they are. So I'll just somehow try and keep that light pointing up there. Is that going to work for me? Yep. All right, good. So as you can see up there, grab your card. Pretty obvious. You don't want to forget that. Now. These can be difficult because of the disk drive. You can take the disk drive out if you want, but you don't necessarily have to. First of all, we want to put the al aluminium fan up and slowly rise the card to the surface. Try and be careful not to touch the board. I'm actually touching the board, but it should be all right. I mean, I don't, I don't, I didn't de-static myself, but that doesn't matter a shit. Um, there goes the light. All right. So probably be best to do the laying with it laying down. No, there we go. So the card's in the slot. Let's push it up there like that. Now we just grab one of these screws like so. And we pop the screw right there. Straight into the graphics card holder. Screw him in. And there you go. The graphics card is now reinstalled again. Um, so now we just want to put my Wi-Fi card back in. The cinch. They're really easy. Um, yeah, just lock, line him up. That's not lined. Line him up. Slide him right in. Should just go straight in. You'll hear a bit of a tonking noise once it clicks, but don't worry, that's normal, I think. Um, where'd that go? There it is. Alrighty, so now we just pop this screw back in there where it came from. Tighten it up, and yes, the reason that screw, the one I'm doing in now, is actually a different colour, is because that screw there was actually originally there, locking that one in, but because that's my graphics card and I like the look of that screw, 
this metal plate here, there was a metal plate right there that covers up that. All you got to do is say the graph, hold on a second. Say where the graphics card is here coming out, that was a metal plate that covered up there. All you have to do to get rid of that metal plate is push it and just keep pulling it back and forth until it will snap off down there. Then it has a free spot for your graphics card. Alright, so we'll screw the antenna there back on. And a lot of people are like, oh, this is bogus, this computer's not real and all that crap. It actually is. I'll even start it up to prove you it's wrong. It is very much real. Nobody thinks that, it, the, that it's actually running 8 gig RAM and the processor and stuff that this is, but there we go. Power button's on. As you can see, I've just started it up. Even bring the camera over here and point it at the power button to make sure. You can see it's on. The screen's lit and lit up. Get your Windows loading logo. That's logging on. Rarely ever takes, doesn't really take that long to log on. There you go, all done. Now, as you can see up in the very top corner, there is my cores. You can obviously four there. Now, down here in um, properties, and here, as you can see right there, AMD Phenom 843.2, 8 gigabyte of RAM, 64 bit, 5.9, now we go device manager, load that up. Now we go display, ATI Radian 6570, so there's the graphics. Now we'll go down to processors, as you can see there are four, and they are all the Phenom X4 840 processor. And as I showed you before, it has eight gig RAM installed. So this computer is very much real. And all the people out there that say that it's not, it actually is, as you can see before your very eyes. So for now, we'll catch us all later and see how many more comments we have left on this video. See you all then.